Hey, it is Janine and I am so excited to be with you in 2022. This is your Diamond Mentor moment. We try to come with you or come at you at for every Wednesday around this time, just sharing a quick tidbit about intercultural creativity and how you can really just revive your creative thinking and your intercultural connections at the same time. Story. It was 2007. People walking around and it was in a, a bustling subway in DC and you heard a man playing a violin. Now he had a baseball cap on and just a normal just shirt and jeans playing there. People were going back and forth to their trains, out the door, to the store, to the ticket machine. Some people stopped to listen to him. In the total 45 minutes that he was playing, about a thousand people or more passed him and seven stopped. And he earned a total of $52.32. Little did they know that this person, this man was Joshua Bell. So here he is in the subway and he is playing. And like I said, over a thousand people pass him by, seven stopped, and he only earned $52.72. This was Joshua Bell. For those of you who don't know Joshua Bell, he is a world renowned, re renowned violinist. He was playing on a $3.5 million violin at that time. And people passed him by. Like I said, only seven stop not knowing that people pay thousands of dollars to sit in front of this man for hours playing his violin. And about $20 of that $52 came from someone who actually recognized him. Everyone didn't. And so for your Diamond Mental mo Moment for today and actually for the year is I want you to be cognizant of, are you walking right past your diamonds? We know Joshua Bell is a diamond. It's not that hard to, to see. He is a very gifted, gifted musician, very wise person and a wonderful performer. And for those of you who care, he was also on Sesame Street. That's just an additive plus. But we are working and leading and raising diamonds in our own lives every day. But do we see them as diamonds or do we just see them as broken pieces of glass? Had the people understood who actually was performing in front of them, they would have stopped and listened. Another point I want to make with this Diamond Mentor moment is that observation is a part of our creative thinking arsenal. You have a toolkit. And those of you who follow my work, you have the seven gems of intercultural creativity about mindset openness and empathy. And the third gem is observation. And so people who are very observant, not just with your physical senses, but your emotional sense, your creativity sense, you will take the time to stop and investigate and be curious, which is the next gem, about what you're interacting with, which will open up doors to find new diamonds. And I skipped this slide, so I will go back to it and ask you again, for 2022, I want you to ask the question, are you walking past your diamonds every day or are you gonna stop and take notice? The diamonds and the people who are in your life, the gifts and talents that you haven't even seen because maybe they may not be in the best place or best culture or have the best job description to have their true gifts come to the forefront. Diamond opportunities, are you taking risk? Are you doing new things to highlight skills and talents within yourself that you weren't even aware that were there? And diamond ideas. Are you going to stop doubting and maybe give some of these ideas that pass your consciousness a try? And so that's really what I want to leave with you for this Diamond Mentor moment today of being mindful of the things that creative thinking needs, the things that cultural competence needs, and how observation is going to affect them all. So in 2022, we need you to see what no one else sees, hear what no one else hears, and engage with things that other people may be walking right past. 
Your brain is unlimited. Please understand the potential of your brain and the brains that are all around you. Now, before I close intercultural creativity, for those of you who don't know, it's the intersection of cultural competence, which is your ability to interact with people with different lived experiences and all the demographics, psychographics, and experiential levels that people may have, and creative thinking, your ability to produce new ideas, innovative ideas that are relevant and produce value. Intercultural creativity shows how they sit on the same set of cognitive skills. And my company does training about self-awareness, cultural awareness, and creative awareness to bring all of these skills and talents and abilities to the forefront. Before I close, remind you that I am creative, the book written by Sean T. Letford, my three-year-old son, and myself, it is out on cafestrategies.com. You can go check it out. It talks about how creative thinking is shown throughout the lives of children and also how you can pinpoint it in yourself. Like this page is about imagination. What does it mean to be imaginative as an adult? And the other book that is out that was released last year is my book talking about intercultural creativity, how to connect, create, and innovate across cultural lines. It is filled with fun stories, interesting examples, and of course, the research and the brain research, the neuroscience about what is going on when you're interacting with people from different lived experiences and when you're trying to be creative. I really hope that you check those out and that you can make sure that you are not walking past your diamonds and that you know that your ideas are very important. Your ideas are needed for us to move this nation and this world forward but you can also be that for someone else if you observe and see the diamonds in them as well. We will see you next time. Bye-bye.